Difficulty swallowing can occur in the earliest stages of Parkinson's disease. In this video, we will go over various strategies for making it easier to eat at mealtimes. Before you begin eating, it is important to create the optimal conditions. Switch off devices that produce sound, such as the TV or radio. Clear off the table to remove distractions. Mealtimes can still be enjoyable. Feel free to talk during a meal, but avoid talking while you eat. Talking while eating increases the risk of choking. Use a chair that you can sit in comfortably for up to an hour. Having a good posture while eating will reduce the risk of food getting into your lungs, which can lead to health complications. Sit at a 90 degree angle with your feet flat on the ground and the nape of your neck aligned with your body. In other words, with the head tilted slightly forward. Fill up your glass so you don't have to tilt your head forward while drinking. If you are helping a loved one eat or drink, sit lower than them so they do not have to raise their head to look at you. Take your time. Eating slowly reduces the risk of choking and lets you enjoy the moment. Allow time between each sip or mouthful. To help with this, set down your utensil between each mouthful and your glass after each sip. Chew thoroughly before swallowing. Finish swallowing completely before taking another mouthful or sip. Cut your food into smaller pieces to make it easier to chew and avoid taking large mouthfuls. Cut soft foods into quarter-sized pieces and hard foods into dime-sized pieces. If your mouth is dry, add sauce or gravy to your food. To prevent food from sticking in your mouth or throat, try alternating a mouthful of food with a sip of water. Avoid mixing textures by eating all the food in one category before moving on to the next. For example, eat all the mashed potatoes, then all the beans, then all the meat. Avoid dry foods, such as nuts. You may find it harder to manage foods with mixed textures, such as minestrone or cereal. If so, try replacing them with foods that have a uniform texture, such as cream soups. You can also arrange food on the plate to make it easier to eat one type of food at a time. After eating, it is important to remain in a seated or upright position for at least one hour. If you lie down, food that is still in your throat could get into your lungs and cause you to choke. Remember to brush your teeth after each meal. Good oral hygiene reduces the risk of lung infection if food ever does get into the lungs. To get the most out of your meals, eat at times when your medication is at its most effective. This will help you chew and swallow better. You may want to split up your meals. In other words, eat multiple smaller meals throughout the day rather than three large meals. This will help you feel less tired after eating. If your mouth is dry and adding sauce or gravy is not enough, consult a pharmacist to get artificial saliva. If, on the other hand, you have too much saliva, consult your doctor about medications that can reduce saliva production and discharges while eating. These strategies may not be right for you. If you still have trouble swallowing and this significantly limits your daily activities, you can also alter the texture of your food to make it easier to eat. Consult your doctor about the different options available to you. If you are a caregiver and you would like to put these strategies in place, discuss it with your loved one calmly and sensibly. It is important to take the wishes of your loved one into consideration. The healthcare professionals who assess and treat people with communication and swallowing impairments are called speech therapists. They can suggest effective exercises tailored to your ability to swallow and your needs. Feel free to watch this video again if you need to. It will still be here.